Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and today's a very, very special, special day in a special episode because I have one of my friends on here, but also a fellow business owner. She's been a business owner for over 35 years. She has traveled the globe around the country teaching other people to uh, manage their time, to be more effective with customer service, with back-end office systems. She's a teacher, a trainer, an international consultant. And what's special about Nancy is that while she was doing all of these amazing things, she got hit by a hit and run driver and lost the use of her legs and one of her arms. A thriving, amazing businesswoman changing the world, having tons of success, implementing and helping change the lives of so many people, instantly came to a halt and a crash when she was hit by a hit and run driver. And yes, she spent a lot of times, um, a lot of her success, but she, she spent a lot of time with doctor's appointments, surgeries, medical challenges after her hit and run that basically halted all of her success. She went from thriving to literally wanting to just die. But you know the story doesn't end there, right? You know it doesn't. See, Nancy is, she is the, after she climbed out of her pit, after she got well, and she was able to um, reacclimate to a wheelchair and live her life in a different way overnight, um, she decided that she wasn't going to stay in that pit. And instead, she started an organization called Invisible Warriors. And Invisible Warriors is an organization that supports women specifically with challenges, chronic illnesses and diseases, oftentimes things that people don't see. Y'all, I'm an invisible warrior. Did you know that? An invisible warrior is one of those that has something hidden, something chronic, something that people can't see, something like MD, MS, um, fibromyalgia, chronic headaches, uh, migraines, things that are so debilitating. But normally I look like a normal person that walks around is all that all that happens. So our friends with uh, type one diabetes and things like that, things that you don't see, but that someone is suffering and living with on a regular basis. And oftentimes our invisible warriors are those who who can't have regular employment, their ailments, their doctor's appointments, their medical conditions prevent them from working a normal nine to five job, even if they're qualified, even if they're capable, because their schedule just doesn't allow it. So it often times forces these invisible warriors um, to become entrepreneurs for even lack of a better option. Um, when you're suffering from, say, something like chronic migraines, um, you literally cannot work all day. And it doesn't mean that you're lazy. It doesn't mean that you're just being a baby. It really means that you have something debilitating and you cannot work for a period of time. And Invisible Warriors is here to support those who are struggling in those areas to get the support the resources the help that they need and nancy is a huge advocate for that she's a huge advocate of finding accessibility for people with uh wheelchairs and other other conditions other issues that people normally don't make accommodations for and we have an i'm, I'm actually on the board of directors of um invisible warriors so that is my privilege to be able to sit on the board with nancy and others in this amazing organization but we have something amazing coming up and we want to talk to you about that. But first, I want you to be able to hear from Nancy. I know she doesn't, she doesn't, she, she's going to listen to this later. I'm like, oh, thanks for the introduction. She's amazing. Um, but we really want her to come and tell your story. This is something that's oftentimes overlooked and people don't pay enough attention to um, when they have certain chronic illnesses that really just prevent them from doing what the rest of the world, normal, average, everyday people get to do. So without further ado, please welcome Nancy to the show. Nancy, thank you so much for being a part of the Amazon Files today. I know you could be anywhere else doing any other thing. So thank you for spending time with me today. Absolutely. I'm so excited to be here. Now, I totally didn't give you enough uh, intro, so I'm going to have you tell a little bit of your story. First of all, the the Chief Flying Pig Wrangler. Let's talk about that because I know you that, that's part of your business and what you were doing before Invisible Warriors. So talk about that for just a minute. Sure. And it fits now too, but um, I was for over 35 years, I was a business consultant and I worked with business owners that wanted to grow their businesses and to be more successful. And we worked on 
strategies and tools and tips and techniques and all that fun stuff. But I would be talking with them and they'd say, well, this didn't work and this doesn't make sense. And I'm going, did you try it? <laughs> <laughs> and they'd go, well, and I'm going, okay, look, as long as you're just sitting there waiting for pigs to fly, it's not going to work. You need to get out there. You need to get going. You need to push yourself and you need to not wait for everybody else to do everything for you. And so I became the chief flying pig wrangler, <laughs> but it still Love has it. a lot. It still has a lot to do with what I'm doing today because now you can sit in bed and you can whine and you can cry and you can moan or you can say, I'm not going to let this stop me. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to live my life. <laughs> well, let's go back to that moment, right? Because like, I don't know, unless you've been through it, a lot of us just cannot relate to having a thriving, amazing international business to all of the sudden being injured, being in the hospital. So if you don't mind taking us back to that that accident, what actually happened, and then the months following where your life was just upside down. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I try to not think about it, but it really is the, it really is the start of something wonderful. So mm -hmm. uh, my husband and I had moved from Washington, D.C. back to Michigan to take care of my parents. And I was running a business. I was taking care of these 90-year-old parents of mine and just doing everything under the sun and really living a, a good life. We took them one night to a potluck at the senior center in town where we were living. And at this time, we were living in the basement of my mom and dad's house because my dad had had four heart attacks on his 90th birthday. Oh, wow. And my mom had said, I can't take care of him. You know, please come and take care of him. So we immediately sold our house, moved into the basement of the house I grew up in, and were there to take care of my parents. So we had taken them to the senior center hot lug dinner. It was February. It was dark. It was icy and cold and snowy in Michigan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, and um, so my husband was out running around helping everybody else take carry their dishes and their pots and everything back into their cars, getting everybody into their cars. And I went to get into our car so that I could go up to the front and get my mom and dad loaded and we could go. Well, as I'm getting into my car, the car in the parking spot next to us pulls out and he pulls out at an angle so that he's almost sideswiping my car. And I got scared because I was half in and half out of the car. And I jumped to get away from this oncoming thing and fell. My foot landed in a hole in a drainage ditch. Mm. And I twisted to the left and I twisted to the right and I went down. Immediately turned black and blue, swelled up just everything under the sun. We went the next day to the doctors. The doctor said, don't know what's wrong with you, but there's something wrong. We got to get it fixed. And for the next six months, I saw five different doctors who went from everything from there's nothing wrong with you to there's nothing we can do to help you to we're going to amputate your legs to you just need physical therapy. We were, but you have to stay off your foot. So living in the basement, I could not get upstairs to the bathroom. I could not get upstairs to take a shower. I couldn't get upstairs to do anything because I was non-weight bearing. Mm -hmm. So I wound up just living on a day bed because nothing could touch me. I was in extreme pain and nothing could touch my body at all. I couldn't even sleep in bed with my husband. I had to, I, we bought a day bed and I used a porta potty and I had to have sponge baths and Life was miserable and went through that that next two years of time. Um, finally, the sixth, the fifth doctor figured out what was wrong with me. He says, you've got torn tendons, torn ligaments and uh, broken bones. And they operated immediately. And when they operated, I wound up contracting something called complex regional pain syndrome, which is if you Google it, CDC says it is the most painful nerve damage in existence. Mm. 
it ranks higher than having a baby in the pain level. So, and the other fun thing about it is once you have it in your body, if you've had it for longer than six months, it's incurable. Hmm. If they had caught it within that first six months, Thank but you. they didn't. So I spent a year and a half laying in that bed, just wishing I were dead. Hmm. And I bet one, most people would, to be honest. And just to like, just validate that, that would be me. <laughs> I would be the same. I would probably be, what was me? Poor me. I've got nothing left. I've got nothing to offer. Who am I now? What can I do? I'm I'm helpless, right? Are those all the things I can imagine you were feeling at that time? Just oh, like oh, yeah. an incurable, you're in pain. You're supposed to be taking care of your parents. And now someone has to take care of you. Gosh, that's just, that's so awful. And I, I can't imagine what that does to someone who, you know, six months before that is thriving and teaching and helping other people. And now you're in a position where you need to be helped. Um, yeah. I can't, I can't even imagine what that's like. So um, what do you feel like was the turning point out of that pit? Cause you said you were in that pit for quite a while. What, what made you decide to, for lack of a better word, stand up straight and decide you were going to wrangle your own pigs at this point? <laughs> well, that's really it because I stopped wrangling pigs and <laughs> you know just went I don't care just go out of the field go away <laughs> one morning I woke up and I truly felt like I'd been I don't know whether your listeners ever watch NCIS or not but NCIS used to have a, a guy on it called Gibbs mm -hmm. and he was famous for what he would call Gibbs slaps which were he'd come up beside you and he'd smack you on the back of the head when you were being stupid <laughs> <laughs> and I truly felt like I got a gib slap and I'm looking around and I'm going, all right, God, what are you trying to tell me here? And I very distinctly felt you're not dying. Quit feeling sorry for yourself. There's a lot you can do. We have to figure out what's going on. And then I want you out there supporting other women who are going through the same thing that you're going through because nobody should have to live like this. Well, there you go. You did, you know, <laughs> you got that kind of slap from God saying, get up, you still have life to live. You know, I love that testimony because honestly, it really is true. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we've been through, we, there's someone that needs our help. There's someone that maybe eventually is going to go through something similar that you've gone through. And we are there to, you know, if we don't, if we don't go through it. Uh, we can't help somebody else go through it as well. Absolutely. That's so true. And and so often I when I'm telling my story, I'll get people saying, I'm so sorry you had to go through this. I feel so bad for you. And I'm going, don't, don't feel bad for me. Don't be sorry for me. If I had not had that experience, sure, I wish I hadn't, you know, I'd love to not be in pain 24 seven and all those things. But if I had not gone through that experience, I would not be where I am today and I would not be able to help the people. I think our last um, recorded statistics on people that we have touched their lives through the organization was something like 20,000. Yeah, see, those 20,000 people would have to turn somewhere else or go without support and help if you hadn't gone through what you're going through. So I, I commend you for that and understand. But the struggle really is real. You know, when your life is flipped up upside down and you're in chronic pain and the doctors are kind of, we're not quite sure what's wrong with you. We'll do a little surgery here and a little surgery there and you're, you're unable to walk and you're unable to move. Um, of course, that causes, you know, just... Men mental health challenges. You know, we all have the pits that we're, we're going into. So let's shift and talk about these wonderful, amazing, invisible warriors that you are helping out there. So um, I gave a little bit of my personal definition of an invisible warrior in the intro, but I would love to hear um, your heart when it comes to these invisible warriors. It's women who, and men, but three quarters, it is statistically speaking, three quarters of the people in the United States, at least, that have these illnesses are women. So we're focusing on women. But the warrior, we're warriors because we're out there fighting. We're fighting for ourselves. We're fighting for our sanities. We're fighting for our, our homes and our families and our health. Mm -hmm. And 
we are invisible. We feel like there's nobody else out there that sees what we're going through. We're, we're by ourselves. We're, we're all alone. And it's a very, very lonely place. Mm -hmm. And so these invisible warriors to me are women who need to have encouragement, who need to know that no, you're not alone, that you're, that there's lots of us out there. We've got, we may not have the same thing as you have, but we get it. Mm -hmm. And we're here to help each other and we can fight together. We don't have to be invisible anymore. So for people that are listening that maybe are perfectly healthy and find themselves and don't have any issues and ailments, but they, I, I believe you said one of every two knows somebody or is one that has some of these illnesses, chronic illnesses or invisible um, disabilities, things like that, that help. So I named a few of them, things like um, fibromyalgia and chronic um chronic fatigue syndrome and type one diabetes and things that that require extra support help that people don't see you know i know i I've, i'm going to tell this little story that i've heard from someone complaining on facebook one time of um complaining about a woman who parked in a handicap who had a handicap sticker and had her you know tag on her front and walked perfectly into the store just like i would just be fine and someone said how are you handicapped? You're parking in a handicap and you have a handicap. And she's like, well, today I'm having a really, really good day and the sun is shining and I'm feeling great. She's like, but the moment that the humidity goes, you know, above 85%, I can't feel anything in my body and my joints. She had fibromyalgia and she said, today's a great day and I feel so great. But she had someone actually, you know, rebuked her in public because they're like, how dare you park and take up these handicapped spots when you're really not handicapped. And those are our invisible warriors. Those are the people that because today's a good day and you happen to see them on that day does not mean that tomorrow they're going to pay for it and be in bed for the next 24 hours Absolutely. because they had a good day. And so yeah. for everyone listening, you know, someone that has one of these um, and, and there are many, many of these invisible um, chronic illnesses, chronic um things that cause people pain and debilitating to the point where they can't. And the, the part about this is that I was talking about earlier was the forced entrepreneurship almost because some people might have had regular jobs that they did most of the time. And if they all of a sudden have something that causes them to not have their regular job anymore, there's a percentage, I think even you mentioned of the unemployment rate or the divorce rate of people who become ill or have you know chronic illnesses that people um, just don't support them. Yeah, yeah, and that's absolutely true. Uh, with this huge number that that have these chronic illnesses, um, they lose their jobs, they lose their income, they wind up losing their families. There's a 21% above average divorce rate for women who have chronic illnesses. Uh, so then they wind up becoming homeless. The doctors won't help them in this um, age of drug addictions and people taking drugs. We can't get the painkillers that we often need to help us because they're afraid that we're going to become addicted. So guess what happens? We wind up in our homelessness. We wind up talking to people who have drugs and we start taking drugs. We become depressed. We just are in a horrible situation and seven out of 10 attempt suicide at least once. Mm. That, that ought not to be when there's so much support out there. So we, as the Invisible Warriors, are moving forward. We are not letting the pigs fly. We are actually doing work to help that. So let's talk about the Invisible Warriors concert, because I know it's coming up soon, and I'm really excited about that. So because we want to support so many women out there that are struggling with these chronic illnesses, and they need support. And when we say support, Invisible Warriors doesn't just offer rah rock you know, in encouragement to one another, what else does in Invisible Warriors provide? And why are we raising funds for, for this organization? Lots of different things. And one of the things that we need to actually uh, say first and foremost is that right now in April, we are just a year old. So we are babies first and foremost. But in that time, 
we have created a program called Hotel Heroes, where we go around and we find hotels that are tremendous for accommodations for people who have disabilities. I got caught in an elevator for two and a half hours one day because the elevator was so small that my wheelchair got twisted around and we couldn't get the door open because the wheelchair and the door were having a fight. Um, that's definitely not an, an accessibility, <laughs> you know, with hotels. So we work with hotels so that when people travel, you know, they they understand that um, we need certain things and special things. We are creating programs. We're going to be having a class on how to talk to um, doctors and family members in a way that's that's professional, but yet uh, standing up for ourselves and being not only accountable to ourselves, but telling these doctors, don't tell me I need to lose weight. That's not the issue. You know, how do you, how do you talk to them? So you get them to listen to you. We have, uh, we're starting this month, we're starting a, a lunch and learn program where we have specialists that come and talk to us about different issues, different medical solutions, different treatments on different medications. That's an in-person one. We also have a monthly one where people get online and do it through Zoom calls so that people can come from all over the country. Um, but the exciting thing that, that we're getting ready to do right now, you just uh, mentioned, and we are having on June 3rd, we are having a benefit concert called Silent No More. And it's a celebration of hope and caring for not only the women who have these challenges, but for the community so that the community can know more about what's going on because right now it's a taboo subject nobody talks about. And for the caregivers, in many cases, a person who's a caregiver for someone who's got these disabilities needs help more themselves do because my poor husband hey Ed I need this hey Ed I need this can you do this for me can you <laughs> you know and he gets to the point where he just wants to strangle me <laughs> because he's doing so much to take care of me so we're actually going to be having um a program a, a, a chat group if you want to call it that for caregivers so that, you know, they can talk. And, and one of the things that I joke about, as I said, these these online forums um, are great places to talk and get to know each other and to figure out, you know, what all is, is going on with you and everybody else. You can bring a glass of wine if you want to, but you can't wine. Yeah. And, and I love that. Bring said, the wine, but you can't wine. <laughs> can't wine. That's right. It's it's all about positivity. There are times when, and this is another program that we have, there are times when you just need to let it out and scream and shout and be angry and punch a hole in the wall, but get over it, mm -hmm. you know, and then count your blessings and, and see everything that you can do and that you, you're able to maintain and don't look at the negative, but look at the positive. The money is also going to go in part to the fact that most doctors that understand our issues are not your normal doctors. Even specialists don't understand a lot of these medical issues. Where the naturopathic, the alternative, those doctors are more open, knowledgeable, understanding about something that's going on and they're willing to work with you, but insurance doesn't cover them. Yeah, yeah, so the so Invo invisible warriors is working on programs to provide subsidies for these alternative doctors. That is my favorite thing that we support at, at Invisible Warriors, really. Um, a place to be yourself, a place to whine and not whine, a place to be able to get encouragement, but also a safe place to, to say, does anybody else feel my pain? But at the same time, we're also about moving forward. Yes, we have chronic illnesses. Yes, we have diseases. Yes, we have things that might be incurable, but there's also viable solutions which take 
money. And unfortunately, not everybody has deep enough pockets to take care of, of themselves. I, I don't know about you and your situation and what happened, but I know that if that happened to me right now, it would change everything financially for my family. Insurance or not, uh, all of a sudden everything changes. You can't work the way you used to. Your husband now is, is full-time a caregiver for you and these mm -hmm. different things. And thousands and thousands of people are going through this every day and oftentimes suffering in silence. So that's what I love about this silent no more concert is that they're also providing the financial means for people who cannot see a natural path because they don't have the funds. Those are not covered by insurance. And oftentimes I know that my natural path that I go to, um, they use a specific biofeedback machine and it's $250 a session, which is worth it, but it's also pricey. So we, we at Invisible Warriors are raising funds with this benefit concert for those specific things to provide products, services, subsidies, uh, grants and scholarships for other things to be able to teach um, people how to care for themselves, support the caregivers and support those who really um, need the extra even funds to um, be able to see alternative doctors. So I love what you're doing there. And I love the privilege of being working alongside of you. Um, so let's talk about the details of the concert because everybody, you know, you I want you guys to support the concert. First of all, it's going to be in Huntsville, Alabama at the Fractal Brewery. Um, so anyone that's in the area, even if you're not in the area, you need to come because number one, Nancy and I are both going to be there. I have the uh, amazing privilege of being the MC for the concert. Um, also heading up a cornhole tournament because y'all know I love cornhole, right? So um, we're heading up that as a way for you to maybe win a, a cash prize, but also your ticket donates to the um, Invisible Warriors organization and the concert. So I'm going to let you talk more about the concert and the musicians that are going to be coming and entertaining us while we're playing cornhole and drinking beer. <laughs> Sounds like that. I am really amazed at the level of musicians that are going to be with us. We have everyone from a punk rocker <laughs> to country to, you know, 90s, 80s and 90s. Um, Kristen Sun's going to be one of them. <laughs> I'm really excited to hear from him. And it's just they're all doing it out of care for these women they want to be a part of something bigger than themselves and so we've got a wonderful night of music of, of all genres we're starting it out i think with a blues jazz band and we're closing it with a gentleman whose name is jerry green and he is one of the founding fathers of the grand old opry and he is act, actually also uh, one of our main sponsors. He wrote a song that he has given us um, to use as our theme song. That's called Tripod, the Three-Legged Dog. Mm. And it's just this cute little song about this little dog who only had three legs, but he jumped and he ran and he climbed trees and he did everything under the sun and and he didn't have a leg oh well it didn't matter you know he can just do anything and everything he wanted to and that really is what we're trying to tell our women is that just because you can't do something the way you used to there's something different about you now than there used to be that doesn't mean it's over you can still climb trees you can still run and jump and play and and have a full life. And so that's the music. We also have a group of vendors that are all medically based in one way or other. Kristen, are you bringing yours? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. That's that's to be determined. So we'll we'll see about that. I've got my plate full, I think, with the cornhole tournament and the um and being the MC of this concert. Yes, but um we're gonna have multiple vendors. I know that there's just a lot of people from the alternative medical community and other things. Um, just like yourself, like you said, there's products and services that are available out there, but a lot of times we just don't know about them. We don't hear about them because there's not a conference for the dis for disabilities of many ranges, you know, it's like one thing to ha um, have a wheelchair disability, like I know that you um, have mobility issues, um, but then there's others that, you know, they might not be able to um, 
not have mobility issues, but there's other accommodations or things that they need. For example, for me, um, there are still many, many hotels that don't have a refrigerator. And I have my insulin that always needs to be refrigerated. And so whether I bring ice packs, if I'm staying overnight somewhere, that's the one question I always look up either on their website or anything else. Does the room have a fridge? If it doesn't, it's a no go for me. Um, And so, you know, just certain things like that, that we can bring awareness to that if you you didn't have a need, you would just be oblivious. You just I have no idea that that was a thing. And then and then coming to this. So um, I'm excited for all the vendors that are going to be able to come and the sponsors. So stay tuned, you guys. But I do want you to know, I expect you guys as mommy income listeners to um, at least if you can't come to the concert, buy a ticket anyway, we are going to be live streaming on the website. So making sure that if you cannot come to Huntsville, if it's not close to you, it's not close to me either. Just saying, just saying, I'm coming from Michigan. Michigan. So don't tell me that Huntsville's too far. <laughs> so if you guys can come, first of all, I would love to personally meet anyone that's listening here. I know I haven't met all of my listeners. So if you guys are in around the Alabama, Alabama Huntsville area, um, but even from Nashville, it's not that far. So if you're in the area, I would love to come and spend a day. Um, listening to the music, playing cornhole, meeting amazing people, and donating to a cause that really, really is worthy. Think about the person in your life that you know has a chronic illness. We all know someone. We all know someone. Maybe you are someone. I know I have many clients that are suffering from different things that prevent them from getting all the things done that they want to get done because, you know, they spend, you know, two thirds of their time in bed and that there's no shame in that. We are here to support you. And when you're feeling great, there's lots of programs and opportunities. And when you're not feeling great, same thing applies. So you guys, mommyincome.com forward slash concert, your ticket gets you into the full concert. There's going to be food trucks and vendors and plenty of things to do. You can bring your chairs. It's uh, we're praying for beautiful weather. (laughs) Um, But if not rain or shine, we are going to have the best time. And um, I would love to meet all of you guys and come and say hi to um, Nancy and myself and all the other amazing invisible warriors. You guys, this is all volunteer. This is all volunteer. Every single person that's coming here is volunteering their time, their money, their energy um, to to attend this benefit because it's so, so important that we get the funds to support um, women who really, really need the extra care that to, in order to thrive and live life like the rest of us are able to do. So mommyincome.com forward slash concert, come and meet myself and Nancy and Jerry Green and all the other musicians are going to be standing by to, uh, you know, just shake hands with you, talk with you. And also there's cornhole, just saying, like for those that want to play cornhole, me, <laughs> there's cornhole as well. So you can have a chance to do that. There's going to be raffles, a silent auction or a raffle. I think we're doing as well for many baskets. So there's something for everyone. Even if you don't like music, there's something for you. So please mommyincome.com for such concert June 3rd, whether you can come or not, you can still live stream if you're not able to attend in person. But I mean, why not a beautiful Saturday in June? You don't have anything better to do. So come and hang out with us. Do all that. Any final words, Nancy? I just am so appreciative of you allowing me the time to talk about this and to share my passion and to let a few, you know, a few wonderful people know something that they maybe haven't known. And I would love to see you on the third. Yes. Okay. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you guys on uh, in Huntsville, Alabama at the Fractal Brewery, mommyincome.com forward slash concert. That's where you get your ticket. It's affordable, but it's also it's going to a good cause. And because it's a fundraiser, it is tax deductible. But what's 40 bucks, right? I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. So make sure you come and you support us. I'd love to meet you guys all there. And I will uh, see you guys same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files. Bye-bye.